It's a story people in wheelchairs and their loved ones worldwide are talking about right now, and it's happening in Sarasota. Anthony Neto invented a way for paraplegics to stand up and take part in sports. I mean, it's phenomenal. It's, I, I can't even you know, describe it in words. It's so cool. Yeah. You'll excuse Tim Boyle if he sounds a little excited. You would be too if you haven't straightened your legs in 20 years. I have not stood up once since probably 19, 1990, so what is that, 20-something years? Yeah. Huge oh yeah, my wife came out here and she's never seen me stand. I met her, you know, seven years ago. We been married for five years and uh, she just had no idea how tall I was. I mean, yeah, she sees me horizontal, but still no idea. And she's about this tall and I'm like, yeah, how do you like that, you know? It's all thanks to an invention called the Paragolfer, a high-tech outdoor wheelchair that lets people like Tim get in an upright position and in this case, hit a golf ball. Golf is what I want to do. I've wanted to play forever and again, like I said, I live in Sarasota, but there is many applications for this. I mean, whether it's sport related or just recreation, I know that they have this down in Mayaka. Uh, they were going through the Mayaka trails with this thing and uh, they pretty much can go on any trail except for there was one that was really rough that they couldn't go on. So, you know, the freedom and the mobility they gave them was immense, you know. Uh, but you can obviously archery, you know, skeet shoot with it. You could fish from a stand. You know, if you wanted a shore fish, you could fish from or a bridge fish from a standing position. Uh, you know, there's a million applications for it. Plus, the physical attributes that this gives you. You know, being in a wheelchair, your bones, you know, like me, I've been in a wheelchair for 20-something years. Your bones get soft because you're never putting pressure on them. And they can become brittle or just kind of mushy. Your circulation completely changes from being able to stand up and be up and down versus sitting down all the time. So the first time I, I stood up in this thing, I had to go very slow because my body, the circulation is not, you know, the blood rushes to my feet, you can pass out. I mean, absolutely. Most people would. If they do not go slow, if I just went straight up, you'll get lightheaded and you'll, just, you'll lose it, you know. But now that I've done it five or six times, I can go up pretty quick now, um, which, is, which is great. And does that increased circulation make you feel uh, more exhilarated? It does. Oh, yeah. When, when I get home, I just feel I have more energy, um, you know, for whatever reason, whether it's mental or physical. I, you know, I'm not a doctor. I couldn't tell you for sure, but it absolutely does. There are medical devices that help those in wheelchairs temporarily stand up while watching TV. But Tim says there has not been anything like this rugged enough to allow him to be an athlete again. If you're out golfing, you're cruising around like this, you go up to your ball, I mean, you're up instantly. It's not much, it's not going to take me any more time than it would for you to get out of the car and grab your club, you know. Yeah, it's phenomenal. You know, to be out here on the golf range and hit golf balls for the first time in years is good in itself. But the idea of a stand-up wheelchair has ramifications well beyond the golf range. He's only started this thing three weeks ago, and you can just see a difference in his attitude about life in general. And how he John Trimpey is part of Stand Up and Play, getting golfers with physical challenges on the golf course again. He says this paragolfer has led to some amazing moments, including for a woman who recently tried it. For the first time in her life, she was able to stand up and look at her mom eyeball to eyeball and she started crying and she said that uh, she was so tickled that now she knew she was going to get to play golf with her dad. And the social aspect, being out there with your buddies and then after you hit, you know, 9 or 18 holes, you know, going in for that beer and you know, after a, a long day out on the golf course, whether you shot 120 or 82, I mean, it doesn't matter. You had a good day out there and, uh, you know, hanging out with your friends and you can't beat that. That's something I haven't been able to do, you know, to hang out and do physical activities with my able-bodied friends. And now I can. It's a great story. The pair of golfers started about $15,000. One goal is to get several of them at local golf courses. There's a fundraiser at Evie's Golf Range on Bee Ridge Road on Sunday, May 30th from 1 to 5. For more information, go to StandUpAndPlay.com or call 377-0990.